I'm Hero Fine Stephen, and you guys are watching Hollywire. Hero, it's so nice to meet you. Thanks for joining us here at Hollywire. I just checked out your new movie. It's so great. Um, so tell me a little bit about what it was like playing Harden again. Thank you so much, first of all. <laughs> uh, I think it's a luxury to be able to play a role again. So first of all, big thank you to the fans for watching it and supporting it to the point of us being able to like do another one and come back. Um, but no, it's always fun and it kind of like gets funner and easier. So yeah, I'd love to play a quick game with you of Never Have I Ever. Have you played Never Have I Ever before, I'm assuming? I have, I have. Never Have I Ever Gotten Arrested. I actually had a motorbike um, and I've got pulled over on that a few times. Uh, I didn't have it for very long, but they wanted to pull me over a lot, to be fair, but I was always fine and there was nothing wrong with it, so it was always all right. They just they just made me conveniently late for school. Never have I ever lied to my parents. When I got my the, the dog, when I got my dog, um, when I was like 11, they had some money that like they looked after from, that was my money that I'd earned from like an acting job that they looked after. And any time I wanted money for something that they wouldn't approve of, it would always be like, can I get like some new football money for new football boots or a video game? And that's what I said when I got the money for my dog and then turned up, turned up with Pip. Aww. And they weren't best pleased about that. But the puppy eyes got my mum and, uh, and yeah, she loved him after a few days. So we were fine. Oh, never have I ever gotten any piercings. Do you have any piercings? I had a friend pierce my ear like at a party with like a neat, like a, um, a needle and, a, and an ice cube and I wore it for a couple of days and I think my dad just rinsed me so bad for it that I just took it out. Oh no! Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, that was always something, I think it's the same with like tattoos where you're like, should I, shouldn't I? And then got it for a bit and I just let it close up. I wasn't too keen. Uh, would you ever get any other piercings or you think that was it for you? No, I mean like, I don't, I think like earrings like do look good, but, but no, nothing more than an earring. That's the only place I'd want to pierce on myself. What is it like dealing with like ship culture from like playing lovers in a movie to like you as hero, as a person and like navigating your own dating life? Does that get in the yeah. way? <laughs> yeah, no, this is, this is, this is a tough one because like as no matter how many times I say or Joe says or we both say that like we're not together we never have been it's a strictly professional relationship like I understand that um that you know people have that have that in their heads and stuff but no matter how many times I clarify or she clarifies or we clarify that that's not the case this will this will collect dust and anything that they can insinuate that we are together will will resurface um but yeah, no, we have a we have a great professional relationship, and that's all it is. And um, I I understand it to an extent, but um, I do really appreciate the people who go, hey, they said they're not, they're probably not. Like, right. that's, that's, that's the truth. I guess you die in a movie, people don't think you're dead, but when you play like you're a re in a relationship, everyone seems to assume that you are. So I understand it to an extent, but I can confirm and clarify that we're not and, and never have been strictly professional. And uh, do you think like in terms of a breakup advice, would you text your ex as much as Harden is texting her or, or drunk dial your ex? Yeah, like no, Tessa? I, don't think, I don't think that's the best advice, especially not with drunk. Especially yeah. with drunk. If you really want to text your ex, you've got to take a few days to fully like come to terms with yourself that that's what you want to do and then make a not emotional response but a logical a logical one because i don't think it's fair on people to 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 do that uh nor is it fair on yourself so yeah i wouldn't advise i wouldn't advise that behavior and have you ever taken like a memento from set like a piece of your character i accidentally took hardin's ring home after the <laughs> first one but they've got they always have backups for if i accidentally wear it offset because you wear a ring all day you kind of you kind of forget a lot of the time costume have to chase me down before i leave to make sure i don't accidentally take that back with me speaking of hardin's costume he has a lot of tattoos do you have any tattoos and did playing him inspire you to get some if not <laughs> i would love to get one i think i probably will get one soon we'll see i don't know maybe not what uh, would it be wearing a them I don't know, I've got my dog who passed away last year had like a mark on the back of his neck that I might want to get. The football team I support have a logo that's like two hammers crossed. Uh, that's pretty simple and looks cool. And uh, I don't think, I'm, I know I'm never going to change the team I support. So there's that. Um, I grew up in a, in a square. So me and my friends who lived there were thinking of like all getting a square tattoo. So they're all like ideas that are 
sentimental and I'm never gonna like change my opinion on. Well, Hero, thank you so much. It was so great meeting you. And, uh, and, and guys, thank you so much for watching Hollywire.